Hey everyone, CPO here, and in this video we're gonna cover Emogene Pass out of Telluride, Colorado. You can see here the pass actually starts in the town of Telluride and then runs to the northeast where it picks up a dirt road uh, just before Ure. So we're gonna exit Ure when we get done. This is just north of Black Bear Pass, which we did earlier in the morning, as you can see here. And uh, there are a couple places where you can see Black Bear from Emogene. I'll show you that uh, at least in one spot. All right, so as you exit Telluride, you're basically going through a residential area. You're going through a neighborhood where you end up on this road that starts to get a little bit more mountainy. And uh, you can see here, there's a few houses off on the side here. Eventually you sort of depart out of that and, uh, and get up onto the main part of the trail, which is sort of a narrow winding shelf road uh, with amazing scenery. This is a two-way traffic area, so you're going to have to deal with oncoming traffic from time to time, and uh, there are several cases where faster vehicles, aka motorcycles, will uh, come and pass you, and uh, you just got to be aware of who's coming up behind you as well. All right, we're going to wind up a few switchbacks uh, in the trees. Eventually, we will get out of the trees, and those amazing views will show up. Now, we were fortunate enough to do this at a great time of year. This is mid-September uh, in 2018, and the leaves on the trees are really sort of at their prime for, uh, for the fall changeover. So we're seeing a lot of beautiful colors as we get through here. But I'm not gonna talk through this whole thing. I'm gonna let you watch this footage, and uh, I will uh, try and skip around to the more interesting parts and give you some more input uh, as it makes sense in the video. Enjoy. I stopped here to take a picture of the guys I'm wheeling with as they're coming up behind me. Amazing. All right, so we're coming up here to a couple spots I want to point out. Number one, this is a great opportunity to view Black Bear Pass. There's another one earlier, but this one's easier to sort of help you locate because of its proximity to the tunnel. But if you look straight across, you can see Black Bear Pass. Again, we did that in the morning. And then you make that curve, and then this is the famous rock tunnel. A lot of people stop and get pictures in this tunnel. I always forget. This is my second time through the tunnel. I still don't have a picture of my Jeep inside the tunnel. So don't forget, get your picture. And you'll often find these trucks full of people. Uh, there's a variety of different sort of tour vehicles uh, that have people stacked all in the back. So don't be surprised uh, when you see those. And when you think about how scary it is going up that tight shelf road, just realize these big vehicles are bouncing around up there all the time. 
eventually we start to get into some of the more interesting mining area uh, as we near the, um, I guess, getting closer to the summit. Here's some old mining thing. I have no idea what that's for. Every once in a while, Drew and Sean would let me catch up to them and uh, just check in on me, but they stayed further ahead just because it was easier for them. And that's not Drew and that's not Sean. So yeah, always getting passed by motorcycles that are running up at a um, much faster rate than we're typically doing in the vehicles. up to this uh, little mining town area that overlooks Telluride. There is a uh, set of porta potties there. Uh, I'm assuming that that's for all of the variety of tours that come through here. Great place to take a picture, so don't forget to do that. And uh, hey, yeah, if you've got to use the bathroom, there's your chance. There's sort of a fun little rocky section here with a, with a small wall that you can climb up if you're interested in doing that. It's not required. You can see here, I'm sort of waiting for the motorcycle guys to go around. And uh, once they make it past, then we'll get through there. Yeah, look at that vehicle. Boom, anybody can do this. It's just amazing scenic views. Check out these photos I took while I was on top. But there's Drew and Sean. Here's the summit. And yeah, we just sort of drove out the backside uh, heading towards your ray. And I don't want to uh, necessarily rob you of any of the amazing scenery. So I'll let a little bit more of this play out. Uh, for the next few minutes.
And eventually we met up with Sean and Drew again, who were nicely waiting on us. And then we made our way out uh, the long dirt road out to Uray, where we stopped, had a bite for dinner, and then drove back down to Silverton. So anyway, guys, that's it. That is Emogene Pass out of Telluride, sort of to Uray. Uh, you don't necessarily have to go into Uray, but it does sort of come out right there. So uh, yeah, it's a great time, amazing scenery, and I can highly recommend September is a great time of year to go. We did it two years ago in late June, and it was still uh, closed due to snowpack. So we could only go up to the top of that Tommy Boy mining town area where the porta potties were, and that was it. And that was basically opened up, uh, likely just because of all the touristy stuff. But you couldn't get over the pass. It was still all closed off. So this is my first time to make it all the way across the backside. Uh, and with the, uh, the color of the trees and uh and all that it was just it was a great time of year so highly recommend mid to late september anyway guys thanks for watching i'll catch you on the next one